It was a great start to the season, wasn't it, for Paul Pogba and Manchester United yesterday. An intriguing post, though, from Pogba on Instagram. I'll always give my best to the fans and my teammates, no matter what's going on. Let's bring Julian Laurent into the uh, conversation, shall we? Hashtag Pog feelings. What are the feelings? <laughs> I think the feeling is maybe he's getting a bit tired by, by all what's written, uh, interpreting, said by, you know, by, by people around him. I think I really believe he thought, you know, I won the World Cup and maybe I can have a, a quiet summer and it's the complete opposite. It looks like Paul Pogba's life can't be normal or can't be quiet. It has to always be his name on the back pages of newspapers here in England. He always has been his name on, you know, on, on, on TV shows like ours, always discussing it because there was always seemed there's something. Maybe it's partly his fault, maybe it's partly Jose, Mor Jose Mourinho's fault or Mino Viola's fault or Ed Woodward's fault, I don't know. But I think for me that post is, you know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit tired with everything that's going on, but I can still show you that I give everything to my team, to my club and, and to my fans. And I, and I, for me, yeah, he's a bit tired of, of everything that's going around him when I think he just wants a quiet summer for once. Why didn't he celebrate, Jules? I don't know. It's a, it's a tricky one. Is that, is, that, is that a dig at Mourinho, maybe? Is that a dig at, again, like we, we just said, that he's, he's tired and, and he, he wanted to prove people wrong? Maybe people who thought that all... Those things going on, you know, off the pitch, off the field, all those rumours, all those allegations that were bothering him and disturbing him for that game. And he showed by the way he played that, that he didn't. And maybe that was his reaction. It's an interesting one because usually Pogba being so extrovert that yeah. you know, usually he is celebrating everything. So maybe there's, there's something a bit deeper than just all those rumours. Maybe he doesn't feel, you know, he doesn't feel good about, about everything that's been written when, like we said on the show last week, you know, he's happy at United. He never asked to leave. He never asked for more money. Uh, but yet, he's always on the back pages. It's always about him. And I think maybe that not celebrating was, was him showing that he can still do his job. He can still do his job despite everything that's been going on. Do you make of it all, Stevie? Uh, I think he's probably just a little angry that, that things have probably been written and said about him that, that will not be correct. Um, and the best way he can is to put the ball in the back of the net. I think that's probably why he was so he was he was so stern with Sanchez that he was taking it. He just wanted to shut everybody up. Uh, I think it's just a little bit of anger. He's had enough of it, and he's telling us all. But of course, a lot of the reason we've talked about him at length is because of his coach and his manager. And well, what no, he's had well to say. it's because of who he is. It's, it's Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba was world record transfer once upon a time. He's now the face of Manchester United, in my opinion. Uh, he's a World Cup winner. Of course, people, are, there's going to be a lot of noise. And yes, some of that noise um, is maybe a little bit negative. Um, but there's that noise, Pogba can only control from one channel. If you're talking about Mourinho, if you're talking about Woodward, Mino Raiola, who had quite a bit to say himself... Only one of those channels Paul Pogba can control, and that's Mino Raiola. That's his responsibility. So if there is some kind of noise that you don't appreciate in that regard, then you have to have a word with the agent about that. Other than that, this is football nowadays. You're playing with one of the biggest clubs in world football. You are the face. You are one of the biggest stars in world football. Of course there's going to be noise. You have to accept that landscape for what it is.